So at Gethsemane, he goes to Gethsemane where Jesus chose God's will over his own. And there is the place where Jesus won back our willpower. You know, the world tells you you can't do anything by sheer will. Let me tell you something. With Jesus in your corner, yes, you can. Because he won back your will. You can give your will to him. Do you know that? You can say, not my will, but yours, God. I will bow my knee to your will. God gave us free will, but you can actually choose to give back your will to him in obedience. Mm -hmm. The whipping post. Jesus is arrested. He has brought before a pilot. They choose to whip him and scourge him. I'm not going to go into great detail because that's a bloody scene right there. Where Jesus was scourged and he bore our stripes on his body for our healing. So he goes back to the whipping post. I can't fathom what Jesus thought at that moment. Scooping all his blood up. Putting it together so he can take it to the mercy seat in heaven. Jesus there won back our health. He won back our health. The court and the jail of Pilate where Jesus is beaten and bruised. You know, we talk about the scourging and a lot of people understand that he was whipped, but what we don't understand is he was beaten, bruised, and they played games on him. Teenagers, kids, anyone who's in here, even adults, Jesus was bullied far more than what you'll probably ever go through. He knows what it's like to deal with a bully. He knows what it's like to be beaten, bruised, and smacked around. They put a bag over his head and said, prophesy to us who's hitting you. They pulled his beard out in fistfuls. They put a crown of thorns on his head and pounded it into his skull. They played games. They sent him to Herod and played games with him. They put a, after he was all bloodied, they put a robe over him, let it congeal and pulled it back off. They did all sorts of stuff to him to torture him. And he had to go back to this place to get his blood. What did Jesus win here? Healing for our inner wounds and our iniquities. You think Jesus just heals our outside body? No, he heals our hearts. He heals our wounds. He heals our minds. Every time you've ever been picked on, beaten down, let me, look, let me tell you, he knows exactly how it feels. He went through it so he could heal you. Yep. Right. Nobody can ever say, well, I'm the only one who's ever gone through it. No, Jesus went through it for you, so you wouldn't have to feel the wounds. He actually did. The crown of thorns, Jesus' head was pierced. To do what? To win our identity. To win our minds, so we can prosper in this life. Because if you don't have your mind, you have nothing. You know one of the saddest things about aging and getting something like dementia or something that you struggle with like that? is losing your mind. Because as long as you have your mind, you got some, you got the most important thing. You know, the, you, the world can take a lot of things away from you, but they can't take what's in your heart. They can't take what's in your mind if you don't give it. Teenagers, your mind is a precious thing. Don't be mindless. Don't just run after what the world tells you. You run after what God's Word says. And you run after what God has for you. Because let me tell you something. The world would love nothing more than to brainwash you. You know why? Your mind is priceless. Yeah. Precious. And mamas and daddies, you better be protecting those babies' minds. And that includes from the music they listen to. Yeah. 